Welcome to the R programming language. I'd like to spend a few minutes explaining why I want my students to learn the R programming language. Over the years I have learned and taught a great many computer languages including Fortran, BASIC, Pascal, SAS, SPSS, and there are numerous others that are taught by other instructors. They're all good and they all do interesting things, but over the years I have learned not to invest a lot of time in some languages that are likely going to have a short shelf life. For example, Pascal. I was a great programmer in Pascal. You can't even buy a compiler for it now, so it's a wasted language. Similarly, BASIC, Fortran, there's limited uses for those languages if you can even use them at all. So, when you think about a computer language that you want to invest time in and learn, it's literally like learning another language for communication, such as French or Russian or Italian. The question is, are you going to be able to use it? Are you going to go to places where that language is used? And secondly, is the language going to be around for a long while in your lifetime in the way that you want to use it? Well. With the R programming language, there are a few reasons to do it, to use it, to learn it. The first is it's free. With the other languages that you could learn for using mathematics or statistics with your programming, you have to pay for them. And if you learn one of those languages in school, and they are good languages, when you leave school and go somewhere else, are you sure that you'll be able to have access to that language? With the R programming language, you will have access to it because it's free. It runs on a laptop, it runs on the Windows, the Mac, the Linux operating systems, and you can always download it and install it in a matter of minutes, no matter where you are. So if you're going to learn a computer statistical language that you can use anywhere, at any time, regardless of your budget, R is a good one to learn. The other issue for learning R is it's open source. There are a tremendous number of people investing their time in working with the R programming language. Thus, R is likely going to be around for a very long while, unlike Pascal, which died and essentially left me in a, as a programming orphan. I couldn't use that language anymore. So, with R, you have a lot of investment that people have made and are continuing to make in the language and it's likely to be very actively used 10-15 years from now as it continues to develop. A lot of people are investing in R. When I mean investing, I mean investing their time in learning and developing R because it's open source. For example, if you were a statistician and you wanted to develop a new procedure for looking at data. Well, if you went to one of the major software companies and say, I have a new thing and I think you should incorporate it into your software, they're private companies that already have an existing product and it would be like going up to your local department store and saying, hey, I've got a great new idea on how you should redesign the front of your department store. The department store will say, well, if you like the way a store should be designed, go open one yourself. So, with an open source language, you don't have to ask permission to do interesting things with it, to do development with it. So, you have a lot of people that are working in the R language and developing new things for the R language, and it's growing exponentially. So, it's a good language to learn because there are so many people doing things, so many interesting things with it. There's always new discoveries every year as someone figures out how to do something new. So, if you're going to learn a language, you want it to be around for a long while. It's nice to have it free so that you can have access to it on any computer without having to worry about, worry about paying a license fee for it. And it's also nice to know that there are lots and lots and lots of other people working with that language. Now, when people think about using R, they usually think about doing statistics with R. 
So it is a language that many people use for statistics, but it is a programming language that you can do other things with. You can do scientific programming, you can do mathematical programming, you can do a lot of things with it. Even if its primary use is with statistics, it's very flexible and you can do many things with it. The graphics capabilities of R are spectacular. So if you're one of those people like me that likes high-end graphics that really look great, publication ready, then you'll like R. There's a lot of things you can do with it. The graphic quality is outstanding and the ease of use and exporting your graphs from what you see on the screen to a print-ready image that you get off of your laser printer is really, really easy. That's why I teach R to my undergraduates and to my graduate students and I encourage you to take a look at the language. Now this does not say that something's wrong with the other languages. If you like them and you want to use them, that's fine. If you're uh, someone who likes SAS or SPSS or STATA, those are great languages. And if those are your preferences, that's fine. But if you've not yet made a choice of which language to invest in, consider investing your time in R and learning it. So I encourage you to take a good look at the R programming language when you leave school and go into the private sector to get a job. It's nice to be able to put it on your resume that you know how to use R, that you can use R, and that you've got the software already ready to go. So enjoy the tutorials that I offer on my website and on YouTube relating to R. There's tons of other stuff out there on the web that is available for free and the R resources you will find to be innumerable and of generally very high quality. So, enjoy the experience and dive in.